Very good, Julian. Who knew the history of mustaches would be so interesting? Next up we have Amelia, who will be presenting the history of our very own school, Loera Elementary. Let's give her a hand. Good morning. Today I would like to talk to you guys about the history of the building we're currently sitting in, Loera Elementary. Uh, yes? Is it Loera or Loera? Well, that depends on where you think the name came from. I think it's Laura. That's my mom's name. She makes me sandwiches. I like sandwiches. Sure, if... I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Isn't it a big mystery where the name of Loera came from? It is, but after doing some research, I've discovered a theory that makes the most sense. I know where the name Loera came from. Well, it seems I've completely lost control here. Loera is a Native American word. Back when the Gabrielino tribe used to live in the Los Angeles basin, the area was filled with really tall mustard grass. Sometimes it can reach six feet and even 20 feet high. That's taller than a really tall thing. I want a sandwich. Anyway, sometimes the Gabrielino child would lose control of the horse he or she was riding. The horse would run off with the child into the tall grass and disappear. When that happened, parents and other adults in the tribe would yell, Loera, Loera, which translates to lost child, lost child. That's really interesting, but I think there's another explanation that- Well, I heard- Excuse me. Everyone needs to settle down. There'll be no more interruptions. This is Amelia's presentation. And besides, I think the word loera comes from a conjugation of the Spanish word loar, which means to praise or approve. It could be, but I'm not sure Pardon that... Pardon me, class? Principal Garcia? I couldn't help but overhear you discussing the origin of the word loera. I think it stems from the word lore, spelled L-O-R-E. According to the Oxford Dictionary, it means to learn or the art of teaching a lesson. You might be right, Principal Garcia, but I think... I think you've all got it wrong! Loera is a kind of acronym. It's short for Lower Artesia. L-O as in lower, A-R-A as in Artesia, which is a nearby city in Los Angeles County. <laughs> Come on, it makes perfect sense. That's an interesting theory. Yes, Billy? I think lower is just a made up word that sounds cool. Like discombobulate. Billy, discombobulate is a real word. I've been lied to my whole life. Man, I'm hungry. All of those theories are good, but I've got the lowdown on where Loera really comes from. Random cool kids standing at the back of the class? You see, from what I've heard, it all started with this dude named Miles Standish. Miles was a famous English pilgrim who had a young daughter. This daughter was really gifted at stitchery and would even stitch beautiful poems into her work. I think that's dope. Unfortunately, she died at an early age, and the name of this daughter was Loera Standish. This school is named in memory of her. Do you even go here? Nope. Weird. Hi, Amelia. Mom? Everyone's theories have been really fascinating, but I know where Loera actually came from. Don't you work? In Old High Germany, the language of Southern Germany, Laura, spelt L-O-R-A, means famous warrior. This is interesting because the mascot of the nearest high school, Loera High School, is actually Fighting Saxon, which is strikingly similar to a famous warrior. That's also a really good theory, Mom. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you at home. Okay. If no one has anything else to say, I'm going to continue with my presentation now. Good. Now... Sorry, one more thing. Billy's mom wanted me to give him this. Yes! A sandwich! Life is good. Like I was saying, everyone's theories were great, and one of them might actually be where the name Loera came from. We don't know for sure, but there's one theory. It all starts with John William Duckworth. Mr. Duckworth was the very first postmaster in Anaheim. 
He was the head of the city's original post office. Since texting emojis to your BFFs hadn't been invented yet, sending mail was a significant way that people communicated in the late 1800s. Because a post office was important to Anaheim, Mr. Duckworth was important too. In 1882, John Duckworth married Emma S. Handy, and together they had a child whom they named Lola Duckworth. That's a cool story, but what does that have to do with the name Loero? Also, my mom forgot mayonnaise again, but it's still good. I don't think you're supposed to be eating in class. But to answer your question, Loera came from combining Mr. Duckworth's first daughter's name and his wife's middle name. Lola plus Sarah makes the word Loera. From that, we get Loera Street, which was named after the first West End post office in Anaheim. In 1888, the first Loera school was opened. Then, in 1962, a school opened and was named after the very street it was located on. And thus, we have Loera Elementary. Great job, Amelia. We all learned a lot from your excellent research. Thanks. Me too. Although, there is an unexpected lesson I learned hearing everyone's theories. And what's that? I learned the importance of writing down and remembering our history. Myths and theories are fun, but when a meaningful name like Loera is given to something, it's important to get that word right so that students like me can learn the truth about where it came from. That's an excellent point, Amelia. Well done. So next we have Billy, who will be teaching us about the importance of nutrition. Uh, Mr. Cass? Yes, Billy? I think I just ate my presentation. <laughs> the young lady and her presentation about where the name Loera came from? Uh, well, it's completely wrong. Loera, obviously, comes from the Los Alamitos railroad tracks that are nearby. Loera, L-O-A, as in Los Alamitos, R-A, as in railroad. I'm surprised that this wasn't brought up in class. Anyway, just thought you should know. 